Oxymercurate all the things! A short film to help you understand oxymercuration reduction of alkenes. Basically, oxymercuration adds an alcohol to the more substituted carbon of a double bond. Alcohol. Alcohol. Yep, definitely need some alcohol here. The double bond attacks the mercury atom on the mercuric acetate. A temporary attraction forms between the mercury atom and the two carbon atoms on each side of the double bond. It doesn't last forever, much like Professor McCafferty's relationship with Michelle before he met Jennifer. Or was it Jennifer before Michelle? Apparently you get all the girls in chem grad school. Where was I? Oh yeah. So the mercury is kind of attracted to the carbons, but it's not ready to commit to anything more permanent yet. But next, water decides to be a home wrecker. I mean, maybe it's doing the right thing since it's kind of rude for the mercury to be too tiny those poor carbon atoms. Might as well give them each the chance at a stable relationship. Okay, so yeah, here the electrons on the oxygen atom from the water molecule attack at the more substituted carbon. Charge! Organic reactions are all battles, you see. It's a really dramatic, gory thing, like the Hunger Games. Anyway, this electrophilic attack leads to the formation of a bond between the OAC and the more substituted carbon. Uh-oh, forgot our electron pairs. There we go. So then, the lonely OAC has an idea, and it's happy again! It decides to come on over and visit the H2 plus on the oxygen connected to the more substituted carbon. And it's true love! The OAC falls in love with one of the hydrogen atoms and carries it off to their own happily ever after. And what's left behind we like to call an oxymercuration adduct. So sassy. Now we're going to react this mother with some sodium borohydride. That takes care of that pesky HGOAC that was attached to the other carbon of the double bond, leaving only the one hydrogen there. Oh hey look, I think we made ourselves an alcohol. Now we can go party! I mean, study for the final! Yay! Wow, wasn't that great? We took a double bond, added some mercuric acetate and sodium borohydride, and wham bam, thank you ma'am, we made an alcohol. And look at all those cool kids who always make good choices, who made this possible.